Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. In this tutorial, we will learn about what are tests in Postman and how do we write the tests in Postman. Let's begin. After we create any request, we can see that there are certain options like params, authorization, headers, body. And here comes an um, tab which says that pre-request script. What does it do is, suppose if I want to get a collection variable, okay, before executing this particular API, then I can use this particular already pre-written snippet, okay, and uh, get my variable and then execute this particular script. Okay, since we don't have that particular uh, API to test that, we cannot do that. But in real time, you can use this particular pre-request script before hitting this API, uh, this section will run and after that API will hit. Okay, in the same way, we have option called tests. This will run after the API has been hit. Suppose after you hit the API, you want to check whether the response of this API is 200 or not, or in case of post, whether it is 201 or not. So all these can be verified using a, a piece of JavaScript code. Okay, we have already predefined uh, steps here, scripts here. We can use them. This is basically written in JavaScript. Okay, suppose if I want to check whether my request, uh, uh, the response is be uh, 200 or not. So here I'm using post request. Okay. So let's understand this particular snippet, what it has. PM stands for Postman, okay, and then it is a test. And this is just a, a test case name, kind of test case name. We can write whatever we want in this double quotes, like verify uh, status code is 200 or not. So all this can be written. And here comes a function, okay. This is a JavaScript function. It can be represented in two different ways, okay. And... Um, we have pm dot response dot to have status. So this is already uh, been. Uh, if you check the postman to uh, you know website, right? You will get all this accessible. You don't need to remember also. Okay, or else you can use this uh, test scripts already been written here. Okay, so using this, we can check whether our response is proper or not and other options are also there. You can check whether the response body contains certain string that you are expecting or um, response body is equal to string. There are certain other options you can go and check. Okay, so I told you about another uh, function in the JavaScript, which is arrow function. Okay, suppose I'll copy the same. And instead of this function, we can represent it in another way. That is simply we have to write this uh, bracket. And then after that, this is called as arrow function. Okay. In both of this case, uh, this test will run. Okay. So here, uh, since this is a post request, I'm expecting the status code to be 201, which is created. So let's run for both um, created uh, one is for pass case and another one for fail case okay let me save it and then run it see if i see this test result here right here it says that status code 200 assertion error expected the response code to have 200 but the received one is 201 in this case this case is fail case and this is a pass case okay in both the case it runs this is one thing and we have further um, other tests also uh, say let's see whether the response uh, time is less than three 200 is what we are expecting here right so here it responded in 389 milliseconds let's see in this case whether it passes or fails yeah, it got failed because the response time is more than 200 milliseconds. So let's um, make it 500. Let's see whether it gets passed because it, it matches the condition. Sorry. So it is below 500 here.
yes it matches now and it got passed so this is uh, what we will do it in test which runs after the api has been hit okay um, you can you know check other requests also status code successful for post request let's see what's this let me remove this and then let me keep the cursor uh, here so this is a post request we are expecting the response code to be one of either 201 or 202 let's run this so in the same way we can write it for different other cases as well we can even verify the body as well whether uh, any particular you are expecting an uh, email particular email to be in specific format whether it matches or it is a string or uh, whether the header whatever you are passing whether it matches the specific condition in the response all this can be verified using this particular tests so maybe you can check the other options as well and let me know if you want any specific test to be run. So this is all for this video. Let's meet in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.